Listen, week in the word. Oh my lord. Listen, if this is how it started, woo! I don't wanna I don't wanna miss not a piece of this puzzle. And I'm not gonna miss anything as long as God spared my life. I'm not gonna miss anything else for the rest of the week. This is a revival I feel taking place. And I just I'm I'm in great expectancy of what God is about to do at MTC and Week in the Word 2023. Good morning, my MTC family. We are back in the house one more time, especially after an intense yet elevating week in the Word. I mean, this past week has been incredible, and I'm sure many of you, if not all of you, would agree. And some of you probably like this week a little bit more since we didn't have to wake up so early for 5 a.m. Yeah, prayer. good point, good point, good but point. But clearly we are seeing the results of those days of prayer and fasting. Ashley, our senior pastor, Rikino Armanker, kept emphasizing that there will be signs and wonders mm -hmm. for them that believe. Do you believe? I do believe. I believe. I believe. And so after experiencing Week in the Word 2023, I'm sure Ashley and I were not the only ones whose faith has been boosted and whose faith has been fortified. So here are a few of our takeaways from our Week in the Word conference. Number one, we have permission to build. The wind of favor is blowing in our direction. My expectation is a weapon. I'm about to meet phenomenal. There are gonna be wells despite the warfare. And we are well able. And this is our season. Actually, this is our, our season, season of supernatural supply. Of course we know Prophet Arthur Duncombe kicked us off on Sunday in both services. Here's a glimpse of how that went down. Family been back up, but, but God said today, I'm unclogging it, I'm unclogging it. Every flow in your life, I wish I could find my 45 people, I can show you how to Because after today, everything that needs to flow, or will flow. And then hours later, we had Pastor Munker's covenant brother, Pastor Kellen Russell, in the building. And like Bishop Neil Ellis said, it was an earthquake. Uh, and Tabor, uh, I want you to hear me uh, by the spirit uh, that this house uh, will be a house uh, of miracle, Lord, uh, have mercy. Uh, this house uh, will be a house uh, of miracles. Uh, this house uh, will be a hub uh, for the power and the fire of God. Uh, but I need somebody uh, to let your expectation uh, rise up in here. Come on, Zion. Uh, Listen, Pastor Kellen was absolutely powerful. I am leaving with a spirit of expectation that I've never had before. On Monday night, it was dubbed our official opening night when we began with Tabor Talks, a session that helped to marry innovation and inspiration. And then we went into full high gear mode with our guest preacher, Dr. Michael Fisher from Compton, California. Uh, and say, neighbor, you build. Let God handle the devils. You build, let God handle the witches. You build, let God handle the soothsayers. You build, let God handle your enemies. And the more you build, the more God's going to bless you. Tuesday was not exempted from the fire and favor of God that we experienced in all of our previous sessions. If you think I'm lying, check this video out. He said, Mount Tabor! Water is coming, Mount Tabor. Water is coming. It's over your life. It's over your house. It's in your season. Provision, life. Yes, God. Sustainability, maintenance, power. Water is coming. I'm telling you that I've come here on an assignment, and God says. That we're about to move into that mansion in Montebo. Not only where we are walking in healing, but we're gonna be releasing healing wherever we go. Now I want you to go ahead and make this declaration over them one word. And that person who's hand you, you're laying hand on them now, shout recover. recover. No, I want you to shout it so that they can hear you. You declaring this word over them, recover. Itabahaya. I want you to shout it one more time. Shout recover. In Jesus' name. I would definitely say tonight was faith building and faith shifting. Building faith, it taught us all how to build our faith in Christ. It was amazing. And I'm happy that I came. 
And then, unfortunately, Jose, all good things must come to an end. Oh, my God. It was time to bring oh. the conference to a close. It was our final session for powerful intercession, Tabor Talks, Midday, and Evening Services. The wells are open. Then I heard in my spirit, spring up, oh, well. When you talk about wells, you're talking about covenants that were made at wells and promises were made at wells and oaths were made at wells. And there are some well diggers, but we need some well distributors. Ah, God, because you can dig the well, but if you can't distribute the water that is in the well, then what good is the well? Hallelujah. I believe something new is coming in 24. Matter of fact, the Lord said 24 means alignment. Hallelujah. And God said, Hallelujah. Week in the word came to align you or realign you for what he's getting ready to do in 24 in your life. Grab your neighbor, say, neighbor, you stepping into a season of realignment. You getting ready to step in to a season of alignment. And we can't forget all of the businesses who sponsored over 150 gifts that were given out. Did wow. you get your gift, Jose? Because no, I ain't getting no I ain't getting them, but next time. Hopefully next time. Hopefully I, next week. Right? Next year, I understand. I can need my gift. <laughs> so that's our recap of Week in the Word 2023. Now, here's what's important for all of you to keep in mind. Although the conference is over, your season of signs and wonders remain. Actually, I feel you, like preaching, man. Preaching. I, I, I grab me a robe. You I feel are, like preaching, please. So, my brothers and sisters, let's continue to elevate. Let's continue to maximize now, and let's continue to prepare for the next. Before I get out of your way, Let's mark those calendars for our weekly war room at 6.30 p.m., our marriage ministry meeting on Friday, November 17th at 7 p.m., and Holy Communion on the 27th. I look forward to seeing all of you in the house. And so that's all for today. Until next time, remember that this is our year. Actually, this is our, this year, is our year of innovation and movement. From glory to glory. RMTC. RMTC.